Welcome everyone, this is your boy Dryden Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everyone, but before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNG Gaming, and even Maori Superman YT. Now these people are our channel members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So before we do get straight into it, why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out. Welcome back everybody, so this video is all about on how to connect and how to code your own Discord bot dashboard. So this is a Discord bot dashboard, but the only problem about this dashboard, that it's not 100% complete. It's about 40 or 30% complete. So there is a lot of work on this dashboard. So the very, very first thing that you must do is go inside my description below. And then you'll see my Discord link. When you go to my Discord, all you gotta do is verify, then go down to the roles channel and select the download role to unlock the download category. Keep scrolling down Till you get to the download category go to the repellent fox channel and now you'll see discord dashboard right there you can watch the tutorial video if you want to it's totally up to you now select fork source codes here and you'll be redirected to this page select fork now while you're waiting Go to your Discord developer portal and create a new application. But if you do have one, you can go to your one. I'm using my tutorial Discord bot. You can create a photo if you want to, it's totally up to you. Now make sure, really important, that you go to bots and now you create your bots and you select these two over here too. Now go to OAuth2 and copy your client ID. Go back to Repellent, and now we are inside here. Next step, go to config.json, and now this is where we start. Over here, we need your bot client ID. So paste your client ID over here. And now we need your secret ID. Go back to your Discord portal and now copy your secret ID. Now, unfortunately, everybody will be seeing my secret ID, so don't worry, I will generate it soon. Now, paste your secret ID over here, make sure nobody sees it. And now, next, we need to get our token code. Go back to your portal, go to bot and copy your token code over here. Go back to repel it and now paste your code over here. Now next, we will be changing our dashboard URL soon, not now, but just leave it there. But next, we need our MongoDB. If you guys do want to connect your MongoDB, I do have a tutorial video inside my description below, so go and check that out. Uh, all you guys gotta do next, okay, is just run your bot, okay? Now you will, you will get an error. See, right there. The reason why you got an error, because you need your MongoDB. So that's why I said that it's really important that you must get your MongoDB, okay? So go inside my description below and now go and watch that tutorial on how to connect your MongoDB and how to get your MongoDB URL. 
So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to paste my MongoDB URL over here. But I'm not going to show you guys my URL because it does have your password on it. So make sure that you guys don't share your URL out. And now we are back, okay? So I have pasted my URL and it's inside my MongoDB. Uh, so all you guys got to do next, okay, is just run your bot again. And then it will say down here. There it goes. And there we go. See? And that's why I said it is really important that you must have MongoDB. Now, it's all connected, okay? Now, the only problem about this is that there's only four commands. So, you need to add your own commands in, okay? The dashboard is done. But the only thing that we need to do next is that we need to connect it to the server. So, copy your URL link over here. Now, go back to your conflict.json. I'm going to pause the video because you guys will be seeing my... Uh, MongoDB URL now I'm back again sorry but um yeah my MongoDB URL is down the bottom over there so all you guys got to do now is once you have copied your URL up here make sure you paste it over here okay paste it over here really important and then I will see you guys in my bot and now we are back again so I'm very sorry but it's just that you guys cannot see my MongoDB URL otherwise someone can hack it this way so yes we have done that okay so make sure that you do copy the URL inside your config.json where it says dashboard URL once you have done that then go to your discord developers portal then go to your IOF2 and go to add redirect paste your url over here and then on your keyboard do slash now copy me a u t h line in the middle g u i l d now add another then copy that and then paste it over here Go back over here and just delete your G U I L D and then line in the middle. That's all you gotta do. Scroll down, go over here to your drop down menu and I'll select the second one. Now save it. Now make sure that you don't have your Discord bots inside your server, the one that you are adding into the thing bring on is it there no it's not so make sure that you don't have your discord bots that you're adding the dashboard to okay and then go back to your repellent okay go back to your uh, your discord developers portal and then select identify select bot and select application commands scroll down now really important okay sometimes people do get afraid if your bot is got uh, administration role so make sure you do avoid that go over here then just select some of these video speak connect of course useless reaction all of this this is what I always do and then I always skip all of this go over there and let's skip that, I only do that, do that, 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 and I always skip the nicknames. Do that, do that, manage channel, manage roles in server, and view the logs. And then there you go. Once you have completed that, okay, then go to this link over here, copy the link, then open up a new tab, right click, Open and go, and then you should have two of these ticks. If you got three or four, then you did it wrong. Now go over here and add it to your server. And now select continue. Now, as soon as you select this button over here, you should redirect to your dashboard. 
say select this button. If you do not redirect to your dashboard, then you did it wrong. So select the button. I am human. Now here we go. And I did it right. I am now on my dashboard. Return home. And then there we go. And that's how you do it. And then now, once you are on your dashboard, as you can see, it did work and I'm on my dashboard. And if you do not return and redirect to your dashboard, then you did it wrong. So make sure you guys do follow the steps, okay? So as you can see, I am on my dashboard. Now all I gotta do is log in. But, before you do log in, really important, you must check to see if your URL is the same. Okay, make sure this is the same as your URL over here. Okay, make sure it is the same. Okay, and now go back to your developers portal. Make sure that is it. Yes, yes. Always double check and now go to your config.json and make sure it is the same as well. Now, when you know it is the same, then go to login. And you should log into your uh, bot. Oh, there you go. It worked. So, as you guys can see, I am now logged in. But um, the reason why I logged in straight away because I did a test like two hours ago and and um yeah i already logged in but yeah but yeah as you guys can see i'm now logged in so over here you can go to your server and now you can manage your server but unfortunately it has nothing in it okay like what i said before this is only about 30 to 40 percent complete and there's still a lot of work to do so you guys will need to find find out or need to add your own commands and etc okay but the dashboard still works okay and i hope you guys did enjoy it log out i'm going to show you guys now on how to change the name so let's get straight into it go back to repel it shut it down or just run it again yeah run it again and then Go to your dashboard over here, then go to views, then go to index.pug, and now over here you can change your name over here, which is this one over here. And down the bottom you can change the text down the bottom, because that one over there is this one over here. Now next you want to change that too. So if you want to change that, then all you got to do Go to includes and go to header.pug and then you can change the header up here which is this one over here so that is how you guys change the header and the title and everything and that is how you connect your discord dashboard but like I said, this is not 100% complete. You still need a lot of work. So before I do go, like always, okay, I do upload more uh, tutorials for GTA and Discord. So if you guys do need any help for any of those, then let me know in the comments. Or if you do need any help with this Discord dashboard, then let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you on that. So with that said, if you guys did enjoy this video, smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.